Pluto, a mere speck in a telescope and billions of miles away, was not discovered by a great professor of astronomy or a well-known scientist. Instead, it was a Midwestern farm boy by the name of Clyde Tumbaugh. As a young amateur astronomer in Kansas, Tumbaugh observed the night sky with his own homemade telescopes, drawing Mars and Jupiter in great detail. Eventually, his drawings caught the attention of the staff at Lowell Observatory in Arizona, which led to a job running their new photographic telescope. On a winter's day in 1929, Tumbaugh arrived at Lowell saying, Everybody were strangers a thousand miles from home and not enough money in my wallet for a return ticket home. It would only be a little more than a year when Tumbaugh's life would change right here at Lowell. His work was done at this smaller observatory right here. Pictured is Tumbaugh standing by the door we are entering. Once inside, you climb a winding staircase to the second floor where the telescope resides. So this is the Pluto telescope. Actually, it's called an astrograph because it's designed to take images on glass photographic plates, which are attached here. A tour guide at Lowell describes it. So basically you have glass plates, uh -huh. and in this case the glass plates would be 14 by 17 inches. Mm -hmm. And that, that corresponds to that wide field that I was talking okay. about. Oh, yeah. Because they wanted to capture as much information as they could, and then the, when they went back down to Pombaugh's office, what he would do is he would develop these glass plates, he'd put them in a machine called a blink comparator, and it had like this you know, eyepiece that magnified everything. Mm -hmm. And he would go through it like this. This grid, this grid, this grid, all the, way, all the way through. And eventually when he found Pluto after examining hundreds of these plates for months on end, he was looking at a spot that was about maybe this big. Wow. So remember, he went through the whole the thing. The whole thing. Yeah, through hundreds oh of these, goodness. yeah. So as you just saw, Tumbaugh took photos of the night sky using glass plates. Then he compared each plate using a device called a blink comparator. It permits rapid switching from viewing one photograph to viewing the other, blinking back and forth between the two images taken of the same area. On February 18, 1930, Tumbaugh was comparing images you can see here. They look similar, right? The photograph on the left was shot on January 23rd, while the one on the right was on January 29th. Now let's zoom in closely on January 29th. Where are the arrows pointing? Right there. You see that? That tiny speck you see is the dwarf planet Pluto. After a few weeks of work reviewing the photos to confirm his finding, Tumba and the Lowell Observatory announced Pluto to the world on March 13, 1930. The one-time farm boy became an internationally famous astronomer overnight, who would go on to live until the age of 90, passing away in 1997. But Tumbaugh's journey doesn't end there. When the spaceship New Horizons flew past Pluto in 2015, aboard were some of Tumbaugh's ashes, taking this discoverer of planets home. Today, you can walk in Tumbaugh's footsteps by visiting the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona. We leave you with another look at this historic telescope.